views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Let me be your lighthouse so I can show you the Hello, welcome to my show. I rhymed. Anyways, this is Patty's Page. This is Patty Hunter, the hostess of this show. Now, today I have a special band. They are called Madison Street Band. And this is Alan McMillan. How are you doing? Mark Saban. Hello. Good voice. Listen, Madison Street, yeah? Reverb Nation at Madison Street Band. You betcha. Anyways, Alan, are you the... Who's the head honcho? Well, I would oh. think uh, Mr. Saban there is uh, the cash man with the head honcho. Yeah. How long have you been together? Mm, about an hour and a half now. <laughs> um, actually, we started... Uh, we met when we were five years old. We had our first band when we were probably 14. Yeah, something like that. 14. Whereabouts are you from? You're from where? Uh, Dearborn Heights, Michigan. Dearborn Heights? Yeah. Mm. So, uh, were you originally born there? Or? I was born in Lincoln Park, Michigan. Ah! Yeah. And you, Alan, where were you oh, born? Dearborn, Michigan. Dearborn. Oh. So, Dearborn. Oh. Yeah, you're dear. And you're born. Listen, um, you're playing acoustic guitar. Correct. Yeah. How long did it take for you to learn? The guitar. Um, well, I started playing when I was probably, I'm thinking about 14. Started with actually 13 before that with him. You know, we would uh, practice together upstairs and yep. in the basements. And we taught ourselves. I've never taken a lesson, and it probably shows. No, you, I heard <laughs> you play. You're very good. Did you self-taught? Teach yourself? Yes, I'm both self-taught. I took one lesson one time. The guy told me I didn't need them, but I wish I would have took lessons. Yeah, that's a <laughs> from what I've heard in rehearsal, you do a very good job. Well, yeah. we try, you know. That's Why what? do we call it Madison Street Band? We grew up in Madison Street. That's where, that's where we first met when we were uh, five years old. Yeah. And um, we were like four houses away from each other. And it, it, and so it, it's a, it felt like we all went different directions, you know. Um, I played in bands through the years. Mark himself has been played a uh, solo act for a long time. Solo. You play yeah. solo? Oh, yeah. Oh, solo, cool. you can't hear me. Oh, solo, you can't. <laughs> so we got back together, and, um, you know, after a lot of years, we'd always, like, part, and then we would get back together and write songs, right. come up with ideas, and then we'd drift away. Yeah. But um, recently we've uh, got back together, and uh, we're going to stay this way for a long time. Decided to take it seriously. <laughs> <laughs> after all these years. Yeah. Listen. Which bands have you been in, Mark? Um, I've always tried to avoid bands, actually. The only bands I ever was in was with Al when we were teenagers. And um, then I just pursued a solo act. I went professional uh, by myself, solo act, when I was 17 years old in uh, Sweetwater Lounge on Michigan Avenue. It's no longer there. But um, How long have you been in the business? Um, well, I'm going to date myself, but... Uh, oh, okay. I've about, been playing for about 30, 33 years, probably, something like that. I think I'm older than you, eh? Well, you sure don't look it. Thank you very much. <laughs> and you, what bands have you been playing in? Um, I was in a couple of uh, cover bands for a long time. Um, and then I was in an original band called Final Effort. I was in a cover band called Scratch. And then recently, you know about that, was an up and rising band I had for a little bit of uh, time. That, you know, was a decent band, but didn't work out, so... Did you write your own material? Yeah, I wrote everything on The Up and Rising um, with Mark. Um, he's a very good lyricist, and um, so it, it's it's nice to have a collaboration now, because before I, I was writing all the lyrics, all the music, but now with Mark, I'm able to bunch, you know. 
We're doing yeah. we're doing what we always did before. Yeah. You know, we just gel. You know. So, um, question: Who does the composing? Uh, we both do, we as both far do. as the music goes. And um, you read notes. No. Some people you don't. No. <laughs> How about you, Al? No, I, I well I read just a little bit, but I don't. How really do you write. score it? How do we start? Maybe? How do you score it? I mean, score it. we just it just comes in our head. And if we have to score one or somebody, you just bring it to the guitar and then you just <laughs> play it. You know, um, you have to memorize it though. Yeah, it's it's, it's more natural to me, you know to us. Yeah, when we do it, you know, we don't have to read the music. It's just there. It just comes out. So when you first think of a song, do you uh, use a tape recorder or something like that? Yeah. To yeah. Uh, we'll tape? get the ideas down. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'll just sit there, I'll come up with an idea, and then I'll remember it, and I'll go back, pick the guitar up an hour later, and play it again. And then, um, then when it gets closer to being more, more full body of a song, yeah. then lay it to some sort of a tape so you have a, you know, yeah. you remember it. And then uh, we get together and we start laying down a uh, um, record. What genre are you guys? Uh, sort of uh, retro rock with a, you know, classic rock with a modern twist, I would say. Yeah. yeah. So, when you were on your own, Mark, what kind of genre were you? Were you the same as um, I know, or I started different? off uh, really a lot with Jim Croce, Cat Stevens, uh, John Denver was actually the John first song Denver? I ever learned, "Sunshine on My Shoulders," mm-hmm. and uh, you know I got into that, and then you know the Doors and the Beatles especially were a big influence too, and. Uh, you know, I progressed uh, uh, acoustically, and then when karaoke and DJ got real popular, I got into MIDI sequencing, oh, yeah. which would give me a background to play to, and I could program it the way I wanted to, so I could put people on the dance floor, and it gave me more chance to be versatile and do some Santana and Clapton and stuff like that. You never did disco, did you? No. <laughs> I disco. Anyway, uh, what, uh, who taught you, uh, who influenced you musically? Well, that's the the thing that makes us a little different is he comes from more of an acoustical background, which I did where I came from more from. I would listen to Eric Clapton, um, Rory Gallagher, all the blues artists of years ago, you know, um, classic rock bands, and then I w- of course the Beatles, you know, everybody. Oh yeah, the Beatles, know. the Beatles. And then the, so, so from his, he has that type of you know the acoustic. I'm more of the bluesy, so kind of. Blend yeah. together. They kind of blend together, and it's a little different. Yeah. Do you have anyone uh, who influenced you? Uh, in, you know, who was your mentor? Not just a bunch of bands or. Well, anything? my my brother, he is about uh, eight years older than I am. Yeah. <coughs> and he, um, when we were young, he had bands. So I figure when we were seven or eight. And we would sneak, try to sneak on the steps, yeah. steps down my parents' uh, house and listen to him. Because, you know, you don't want your little brother downstairs uh, listening to you because he'd shoo us away. So me and Mark would sit there and we'd listen to him. And we always said, well, that's what we want to do. We want to we play music and that. So my brother, Randy, um, he was an influence on me. Yeah. Um, so he's a musician as well? Yes. Ah, uh, Do you have any brothers or sisters, sir? Um, yes, I do. But my my influence would be my grandfather D'Angelo. He yeah. was a mm. you know big time uh, country jazz and blues player. Is he was he born here or? Uh, he was born in uh, Italy. So you're part Italian. Yeah, my grandma and grandpa D'Angelo uh, came here from Italy, and uh, and um, he even made his own stand up bass out of a wash tub, turned it upside down, and used a two Homemade. by four. Homemade. That's what I like. That's yeah. the way it should be. Yep, and his brothers played, and uh, he was a big influence on me. I wanted to be like Grandpa, you know. So are you the only, uh, how many people in your uh, I have family? One, one brother and one sister. So are they musical as well? No. So you're the only one? Yep, I'm the only one. So you've been around the world? Well, virtually. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Do you have CDs out? No, we are currently working on our first uh, uh, full production. What we did was we put I wanted to get a, a feel for what people thought. So we put out a couple on Reverb Nation where people can go and listen to us. And um, it, it went over quite well. Do you have any music videos done for you, between the both of you? Or you have separate music videos done? He's got some from those previous bands. Previous crash. bands and things like mm-hmm. that. But um, we're in the 
stages of just getting this thing really, really going. Yeah, I've heard some of the songs you were rehearsing. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. Listen, are you going to do a music video? <laughs> music video of No Man Stands Alone? Yeah, we would like to. Or we, we have another one that we'll, we're going to be performing. It's called yeah. Mirror, Mirror. That actually Mark wrote. It's really his. Mm -hmm. He has a few songs that I call... Um, is uh, really special songs that he's written through the years yeah. that I think people need to hear. And uh, Mirror Mirror is one of them, and No Man Stands Alone. And then uh, the other ones we pretty much Pooh. wrote together. You played the harmonica, eh? Yeah. 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 How long did it take you to learn that? Um, well, about five minutes. I just, you know, if it feels right and sounds right, it's right. <laughs> Do you know how to play the pan flute that they have in South America? No. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. So, um... Anyways, uh, what we were interested in, uh, what led you to write all the songs that you're going to be singing tonight? I'm um, just uh, wanting to express my feelings about what's going on in the world, and um, the woman in you is an idea that Al came up with. And oh, yeah. I'd like to get their meanings and why. So, um, can you sing a song right now for me? Sure. Okay, what would be that? For you, I would play The River. The River? Yeah. Is that both of you singing? No. Well, Just no, him? But if you want both of us to play, let's rock. Rock? Oh, <laughs> jam a bit. So The River, eh? Yeah, I wrote that when I was 17 years old. You can hear that on Reverb Nation. Yep. Oh, yeah. Well, um, they're going to be playing... Let's uh, go say Reverb Fortune Nation. Fortunate Fool is going to be our first one. Okay, yep. so... Go ahead and have uh, fun, and I'll be right back. Right. Okay, thank you, Patty.
Why did you write it? Who wrote it? We both did. Okay, why? Tell me, <laughs> tell me why you wrote it. Well, actually, it started off as a song uh, called The Lonely Loser. <laughs> and uh, when he gave it to me, I said, well, we got to change the lyrics. So I rewrote all the lyrics. And um, <laughs> it's just basically about, you know, you know how life is. People are out to make the buck and don't find time to find what really counts, you know. And so it's a story about a man who did just that, and he finally realized what really matters is matters at heart, I guess. How long do you t it took you to write that? Um, I it, it was frustrating because I had the old lyrics in my head. Oh, so, so you it took had a while. To yeah. Boot it out of your head, gut it out, and yeah. Yeah, put yeah, new ones in. Me. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you do the music? Yeah, um, we both did. Yeah, you both did. Um, that's that's the good thing about us. So I came up with the main. You know, Do you do musical bridges? Yeah. Yeah, we broke you know, all kinds of things. Yeah, and somebody here plays harmonica, but I don't think it was me. <laughs> I thought it was a guitar. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> must be the German in you. So I'm part German myself. This one. Um, where do you think this band is going? Well, from here we'll go back home. And, uh, <laughs> That's um, not what I meant. Actually, we're, we're, you know, we think what we have uh, to offer is viable, you know, for people to actually make a connection with. So we're just hoping to make a connection and people will like what they hear, you know. Yeah. So how many songs are you going to be uh, putting together for a new CD? Uh, I think we probably have a 10 or 11 on there. Yeah. So are you going to sing River, River? Well, the River, we didn't practice River? together. So, you know. Oh. I can play it for you, but that's not something we practice together. So yeah, it would just. Well, be you me. did a good job in that. Yeah. You did a good job in that. Yeah. So. Yeah. He plays his butt off. <laughs> oh boy. We can do the old man stands alone. Oh, you can you know? What's this about, Mark? What's it about? Well, this is about, uh, you know, how no matter who you are. You always need somebody in your life at some time, and part of the course is from a prayer to a mother to a good friend. 
No man stands alone. Mm-hmm. Whether it's, you know, God or uh, your mom or a brother or a good friend, you know, you always, some at one point in your life, no matter how much of a loner you think you are, you're going to need you somebody. You still need someone, yep. no matter how much. Yep. We, we humans are here for, uh, for each other on yep. this earth. We, we're all we got. So, uh, what's it called? We s- no Man Stands Alone. No Man Stands Alone. Hey. that is i love it <laughs> how long did it take to learn that one eh? to write that one it was pretty quick actually oh i probably did it in a day or so oh well i this is going on towards the end of the show my loves um can you come on another show for next week sure yeah can you yeah, I'll even practice. No, you're, you're, you're being held co- hostage <laughs> here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so uh, can you, I, do you also do instrumental? Just no singing, just instrumental? Well, we, um, we come up with jams once in a while that end up turning into songs that don't have you the are original. Song. I write lyrics. What do you got? Oh, I don't have it. Oh, oh, oh 
You could have done something. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. You could have done it right on, right, right here. Just collaborate it right here. Yeah. Can you make up something now? Madison Street plus one. What do you, All right. What do you got? <laughs> what, do you, what do I got? Okay. Sweet nuttons. Sweet nuttons. <laughs> Sweet nuttons. Sweet nuttons. Sweet nuttons. Sweet nothing, sweet one My only, only love Sweet everything you are You have to make that up. You have to put it on on uh, recording. I, I, I it came out rather nice. I was blushing. I was blushing over there, man. They mentioned my name. Ah, that's good. A song for me. Why not? Ah. Anyways, we are getting towards the end of the show, and we'll see you next week. So this is Patty Hunter of Patty's Page, and this was Madison Street Band, and they're gonna play us out, and so. See you next week. Thank <laughs> you.